In today's video, you're going to learn how to remove those tricky green screen backgrounds and how to generate an AI background and composite it so it looks natural to the scene. All right, let's jump on in. This video is sponsored by Riverside. I'll show you how to use their new AI Magic Clips feature later in this video. So removing your green screen background is actually a pretty easy thing to do. But in most cases, the green screens that you're going to be working with are going to have shadows and highlights. The background is not going to be a full solid green color, you know, like those kinds that you see in stock videos. It's not perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and let's jump into After Effects. Our demo clip, let's drag and drop it into our composition. And then we can actually just reposition ourselves into the view that we want. And it's okay if we bring this lower here because the background is going to be removed anyway. So if we see a little bit of the alpha transparency here, that's okay. Now let's go to effects and let's search for key light. I'm going to choose the one where there's key cleaner and advanced spill suppression. And let's drop this on our clip. Now from key light, our first effect here, let's choose the screen color dropper and let's choose not the lightest part, let's choose the darkest part because the darkest part also includes the lighter. So it makes for an easier key. Once we clicked it, it started to remove the background, but this is just the intermediate result. To perfect your green screen, we need to go to screen matte. All right, so this might look confusing for those of you that are new to this, but essentially the foreground, we want it to be pure white. And we can see that there's some gray particles happening and the background also has some gray. So we need to fix this by clipping the blacks and the whites. So how do we do that? We need to go over to screen mat and underneath clip black, we can start to clip this and notice how it starts to remove all of that gray. So that's looking pretty good. Now let's try clipping white opposite direction. Let's get rid of all of these gray, gray particles here. We don't wanna to do too much because then it starts to add back in particles into the background. So just enough. We can always go back in and perfect this a little bit more later on. So let's say around here is fine. So let's go back to final result and let's see how it looks. It's looking pretty good. But as we zoom in here, you'll notice that there's this strange thing happening. If I press H to the hand tool, there is like this particles happening around the edges. Let's see if we can fix that. So first of all, Underneath the key cleaner effect, let's remove this additional radius. And look, that solved it. The additional radius that the key cleaner defaults to is what causes a lot of that problem here. So overall, I think it's looking pretty good so far. There's not really much spill happening here. And spill is basically when there's like green screen reflected on the skin. So I'm just going to delete this because it's not necessary. One more thing about the key cleaner. You'll notice that when we play this back, if we focus on the hair here, when we play this back, you see this type of chatter happening. If we turn on reduce chatter, it can help a little bit. It's a little bit better, but what can help even more is if we go up here to screen pre-blur and add about five points, it can just make the edges a little bit softer and the you know chatter isn't going to be as strong as before. So, but now the whole idea here is that I want to create kind of a fake AI podcast background. And to do that, we need to go into Photoshop. I want to create a 4K vertical sequence, which is 2160 by 3840 and press create. So here, let's select the rectangular marquee tool and let's select the whole background. And we're gonna use generative fill here to type in whatever the background is. Let's say wide shot of a film studio with a neon sign, quotation, gal, and hit generate. And some of the results are pretty funny. Like for example, with letterings, like that does not say gal. It has a really hard time with text. Now, this one is kind of close, but you can try again. All right, look at that. This one has the gal, but it just it doesn't look that good. A few moments later. So finally I found one that I liked and I chose wide shot of a film set with a neon sign gal. Now obviously it doesn't say gal, but it did have a really cool G, which I liked. You can go to file and export, quick export to PNG, and we can save it as a background. Let's call it V14 because I tried a bunch of different backgrounds and I like this one the most. Now we can pull in our new background here and drag it behind us. A lot more work needs to be done. 
So talking about AI, Riverside, the sponsor of today's video, added this really cool AI magic clips feature that essentially uses AI to scan your entire video, whether it's your whole podcast or an interview, and it identifies the best moments, trims them down, and adds captions to them automatically and makes them ready to post on social media. So let me show you how it works. I recorded an interview with Finzar earlier this year. I can click on magic clips and it's already generated the best moments from our interview to post on social media. But you can now upload pre-recorded clips to Riverside. Once it's done processing, I can click on magic clips. Here I can refine the edit just by deleting words or sentences that I don't want using their transcript that they automatically generated. And my favorite part is that you can use the magic tools to remove any silences if there are any. Then you can change the aspect ratio, add a rounded corner and a border, and I can customize the style of the captions, then hit export and it's ready to go. So if you run a video podcast or you're just in need of some fast highlights with captions to post on social media, I highly recommend, recommend, I recommend Riverside. You can use my code PremierGal to get 20% off. All right, now let's jump back into After Effects and finish compositing our AI background. So we have our imported AI background, but first we need to make it look a little bit more realistic. So we need to add a blur and a light wrap around myself. So search for camera lens blur and let's double click to apply it. And let's add around 20. I think that looks pretty good. You can reduce this amount a little bit if you want a little bit more. I think that's a little bit too much. I wanna see the shapes there. So I think around 20 is fine but we need to make it look a little bit more realistic and then also make sure the lighting blends in on the edges. So we can go to effects and search for the Crate Light Wrap. Now this light wrap is a free plugin made by Production Crate. Take this and drag it onto our footage clip, not the background. The way that the Crate's light wrap works is we need to choose what our background layer is first. So go here and let's choose the V14 background. And you can see it's done this weird thing where you see this like reflection. Well, what we need to do is crank up the background blur. So let's increase this so the background becomes a little bit more blurry. So just enough, maybe around here is fine. You can always crank this up later. And then the wrap width, this is the width of that wrap. So right now it's at 100, that's a lot. If we go more, it becomes too powerful. So we just want like a subtle amount around the edges and you can adjust the exposure. If you don't want it to be one, you can make it even less, 0.5, so it's not quite as bright. This is the before, this is the after. Now let's add some final touches. Let's go and right click here and go to new adjustment layer. And from adjustment layer, we can add another Lumetri color effect or from my toolkit, if you go to extensions, Atom X, I have my Premiere Gal Toolkit, which you can get the After Effects version or the Premiere Pro version. And I have some color grades here. Underneath Romantic, I have a few that I really like. So if I hit apply, it'll apply that color grade at this adjustment layer. Now it looks a little bit too intense right now. And so what we need to do, press T for opacity. And then we can reduce the amount of intensity here to like 36 or so. So if we turn off the adjustment layer, this is the before and this is the after. Powerful things about editing is that the way that you cut together the clips can change its meaning. If you'd like to learn about more AI tools that can help you edit faster, you can click right over here. And if you wanna learn about more split screens and podcast editing, you can click right over here. And as always, keep creating better video with Gap. See you next time, bye. Huh?